guys, I'm going into Peter Pan. They say it is only a 35 minute wait and you know, typically it can be two to three hours. But we're gonna go check it out. I'm gonna take you through the queue. I don't often do this because it's such a long wait. We're pretty hard working here. The queue is actually a really, it's probably one of the fun, the most fun queues to go through. It's very magical. So even though the wait might be long, you do get these really neat things to look at along the way. And I simply just cannot believe that there is nobody in this line. Ah, oh, what a treat. Look at Peter, John, and Wendy. Now, this is the fun room. This is Nana. Oh, here's where the wait begins in this room. Sometimes it takes forever just to get this room into this room and people will bring their lunches and sit on the floor and eat them. But we made it. That's a fun little stuff. The ride itself is a very short ride, so I'm always trying to debate whether it is worth the wait. She's spinning the globe. She's in the books. Hmm. She seems to have disappeared. You never know when she's going to show up. Well, one thing's for sure, we know she always comes back. So, when you're coming through the queue, Keep your eye open. We have Nana's doghouse in the nursery. And here we have Peter Pan. If you have a fast path, you don't even go through this queue. You actually just will get on and load right back there um, on the other end of this area. So getting a fast pass for Peter Pan is always a good idea because typically the wait can be up to three hours and people will wait for it. Um, for me, I did the 30 minute wait today. It was really right at 30 minutes and it's extremely unusual. Um, so. I missed my fast pass the other day and I didn't have a chance. There weren't any more available. So I uh, just decided to take advantage of that 30 minutes and that really wasn't too bad.